Now that the seat is out of the car, I'm going to show you how to disassemble the seat and we're going to also remove the bottom seat cushion. The first thing you want to do is remove this remaining piece of trim. Um, mine's just held in by the seat belt there, so move it out of the way and pull that piece out. As you can see, there's no screws holding it in. Um, I don't know that there's supposed to be screws, um, but I'm just going to set that to the side for now. Back on the seat frame itself, there is this little lever that is the base height adjustment. You're going to remove that little screw there. And then you're also going to remove these two gold torques. Those hold the seat back in place. Now our seat back is detached and the bottom cushion is pretty loose now, but is still being held in place and I will show you where in just a second. This silver nut and bolt combo is actually what's holding the rest of the seat bottom to the seat, and I'll show you the other end of it is a 6mm hex. So you're going to go ahead and use your 6mm hex and a wrench or a ratchet on the nut and go ahead and detach those. Next you want to undo these small torque screws that hold this um, box where the connectors go into the seat. There are also a couple of zip ties that hold all the wiring to the bottom of this seat here, so you're going to need to cut those out. And while I'm here, I'll show you the seat motors. There's three of them here, and they're held in place by a couple little screws. Um, and some of them go into a worm gear, uh, but if you ever need to service those as well, that's where they are. And then right here you have your seat control module, which all of these motors plug into, and that's where that big plug goes in with the sliding piece. At this point then, the seat bottom should only be held in by the wiring that is coming from the uh, seat back, uh, but this is enough to start to take the cushion and the leather seat cover off. The edges of the seat cover actually fold into this little metal channel, and what I'm doing right now is taking a screwdriver and just prying that tab out um, enough so that I can start to undo the, um, the seat bottom material to come out of that lip. And then once I'm able to get that started coming out of there, I'm going to just move the rest of the way around the seat until I get it completely out. I'll go ahead and show you what my replacement seat cover looks like so that you can get kind of a better idea of what I'm talking about. Um, on the bottom here, you can see this is the part that actually folds into that metal channel. It's just got a piece of cardboard kind of sewn into it for reinforcement. So I've gotten all of the uh, perimeter of the seat cover out from that metal channel and it's still held in there because there are tabs and there are metal strips that run like this way um, through where the corners of the seat material are and those will need to be popped out of those tabs on the bottom. I'll try and give you a closer look of what these tabs are that I'm talking about. Um, under here you'll see that there's a little white tab and that's where the metal um, rod that's in the seat bottom hooks into. So there's about, I think, six or eight of those holding it in um, the whole way around, so you'll get under there with a the screwdriver and just pop them out. On the seat bottom I got, and maybe on yours too, um, it was just cut, so I'm going to need to solder that um, back to the other wire that is coming down from the seat back. Um, and then, this is actually the existing connector, I'm just going to pop it out of here, out of this holder. Um, and put the new one in and then solder it once it's all back together. You can see right here I've just placed the new seat cover on the uh, top of the horsehair material and fed the wiring through. This is just so I don't have any issue with um, not having enough wiring or having weird um, problems later. You can see this is the seat heating element that was missing from my existing one. Now you'll want to start feeding the edges back into this channel um, and just pick a starting point and sort of work your way around and then you'll want to use a hammer kind of to hammer back down that tab so that it fits nice and snugly in there. 
here you can see how that edge fits back into the channel um, and it should be that way pretty much all the way around um, you'll have to pull up against some of it as it will start to get tighter as you start to spread it down and then I use my screwdriver here to kind of push some of the loose ends back down into that channel before um, doing the final hammer to get the the channel back into place there. This is where I'm going to cut this video. Um, you can see the new versus the old seat cover and in the next one I'm going to show you how to reassemble the rest of the seat.